check here. Here we go. Get Mr. Sammy over here. Patient teacher of patients, so we got <laughs> moving. We got to keep Sam moving and grooving. Come on, go, come on, go, go, It's funny when I do all that kind of stuff. I have absolutely no fear that I won't be get, get kicked, but I have to always be mindful of that and be really watching how the horse is reacting when I do that and not get too complacent. Because it's good to get frustrated with that. You see how he's doing? His head's soft. I'm moving him around here. Leaning on him, and he's moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go 
I work on the approach distance and such every single day because that's what I'm here. But when you're here once a month, you have to kind of work on that to get reconnected. And remember how we did the little thing of going and march, walking in and taking his place? Yeah. Remember how we did that? Yeah. Okay, so we'll get him situated in a, hopefully not in an icy corner, but remember there's a little ice in that corner over there, Ron? Let him move around and through all of this stuff. And then I'd like you to take this and I'd like you to march towards him and just moving it out towards him. Now you're, now you're blocking him a little bit because you got 
closer this time. He's about six inches closer. <laughs> so that I can then free to move left and right, front and back. Because remember, as you ride, this is what happens. That's right. right? That's thinking of the other part. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And if you need your hands to get a little stable. Yeah. Okay. So you're sure stable. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> stable. Okay. So work on that stability, right? Not there. as easy as I thought. Right. Find <laughs> the center, my friend. Find the center. Not as easy as I thought. No. And then move the ball. Once you find that center of the ball and of your own body, good grief, Sam. Focus of, of here down into there. Down in there. And breathe. <laughs> breathe, too. breathe through there. Move. Breathe through your abdomen. <laughs> okay? This ain't easy, folks. No. And you move the ball left, back, and forth with your hips. Okay? Yeah, now that's getting easier. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Now that's easier. Okay. Getting the hang of it now. Just a matter of finding your balance. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Sammy. Sam's watching. Can we get it? Hello, Sam. There you go. Hi, little boy. Oh, Centered again, dear. There you go. But keep it straight. Keep your head straight up. Keep your head straight and just move from your. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Honey, you just got too much rhythm. <laughs> it's in your blood. Okay. <clears throat> Focus from your belly button. Everything is there. Keep your head as straight as possible. Just move that hip. And for no, don't move your head. Keep don't your move your straight. shoulders or your head. Shoulders just, just the, just hip. the hips. There you go. Try to focus on the hips. Moving. Breathing through there. This way you can watch the video later. I'm feeling bones that I didn't know I had. <laughs> so you want to find that balanced spot too as you sit, where you're not digging in your 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 hip bones, pelvic bones, you know, on the butt bone right uh -huh. there. That you're kind of curving back in a little bit, and you're more on the cheeks. Sally Swift of Centered Riding. 
And you'll see her doing all sorts of stuff. She's down like this. She's tucked in there. She's tucked like this. Tucked like this. So therefore, you're back more on this and up like that. So you're back in like this. As she's sitting. Think about a, she always had a string coming up from your head. It would keep that whole thing straight from the head up, where that is all in, in there. <laughs> but you're up under. Maybe we can work on more of this what? later. <laughs> Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. I got my hand right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> In the hearth poop. We can go home with a horse <laughs> marked with poop. Oh, yeah. And say, well, damn it, I've been with a horse. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was a rough day with the horse. But you ball. see, okay, but see, let me finish okay. So when you're on there, see, you want try to get your feet here. Like when you're sitting. It's not going to be like that. Try to okay, sit right, right here, see? Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Side. See how it goes like this? So feet in front. See how that goes? And then it doesn't have to be exact, just a few. See how that's going right there? You can't help a little bit of shoulder movement, right. but you don't want a lot. See? Yeah, right there. Okay? And I'll be there in case you go over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Put your knees worried. together a little bit. Well, there you I'm go. I'm not worried about falling because I know how to do that. Yeah, I noticed that. He said that. practice. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. So keep the string coming right up from here. There we go. Right straight up. It keeps all of this straight. Okay. There you go. Ah, you got it. There you go. You got it. There you go. George, I think he's golfing. <laughs> Still kind of wiggly in their shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Feel that? Yeah. Okay. So the, this is all relatively simple, and it's not. Right. And then that makes it more comfortable with the horse too, because as you're shifting too much weight up here, that horse will feel it, especially yeah. bareback. Yeah, he'll try to underneath compensate. them. Yeah. And as the horse gets older, and that poor old back and that rigid saddle. Yeah. Can be. Uh, I just hope my body re remembers this. Well, we'll, we'll try to. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep at it. I'll keep at it, yeah. There we go. You're a natural, I guess, Lee. Well, but you are too. You you just have a different <laughs> rhythm. She'll get the rhythm of this rhythm. Okay. <laughs> it's learning a different rhythm. The kids used to have one of these balls. Yes, I know. I remember, remember? that. Yes. Too bad it got popped. Oh, did it? Yeah, they're great to have. I got it, I think, from uh, Sports Authority. You know, those exercise balls. It's down a little bit today because of the cold, but when it's warm, it inflates up. It works pretty good. Then what we're going to do... Yeah. Yeah, they're great to have, and then you can do legs exercises. Lay on the ground and put those between your leg or between your feet and lift up and stuff. You know, it's just good for balance. Well, let's get one of those, Lee. Yeah. Leg lifts, it's really great. And then they do deflate that little thing, that little white thing in the center comes out yeah. and they can, and there's just a little pump thing that inflated. Who says a uh, horse won't come like a dog? Who says they won't come when they're tall? Yeah, but he knows you better. There you go. Yeah. You see, that's when he wants to be with us, that comes in the release. If he had too much pressure all the time, he'd say, I don't want to go over there. You're going to make me work. Yeah. You know, and, and there was one lady, as I mentioned, she said, well, you know, all horses are lazy. Well, I thought, well, who the hell's fault on. is I'm lazy, that? too. No, just... We all are. Whose fault is that? <laughs> if we find things that inspire us with life, then we are more willing to do it. And that's why I really therapeutically follow the fundamental interpersonal relationship orientation called fire room, where you feel that sense of inclusion, the sense of acceptance, and a sense of control. And the control means you're not out of control. And once you have that, then you're more willing to accept and start working on those things in your life, those painful things. That's the way I believe. That's what we follow. That's what we follow here.
Yeah, that does feel good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. My back <laughs> yeah, is a keeps little you. bit stiff. Yeah, it feels better. Yeah, help loosen it up. And... Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to play follow the bouncing. If we can get it bouncing, it's <laughs> kind of flat, though. Yeah. And I want you to try this. <laughs> and Cow. Sam's probably the one that's had the least of this because this is something that Nick doesn't do with his horse, which is all right. He drives his horse. But I like horses to be able to feel. And see, so Sam is... He's telling us, oh, that's making me feel uncomfortable here today. So, we don't want to put too much pressure on him. We want to back off and let him get curious. We want him curious about the ball. Let him make some choice in the interim. We would get him running around and panicked. And then we'd create a memory. Now, Tim McGrandon says, too, something that I think is fascinating by being, you know, autistic. That, that uh, autistic people think in terms of pictures. Uh -huh. Horses think in terms of pictures and memories and the scents that, re that, uh, that, that remind them of that. Okay, so right. scent. Uh, will smell, but it reminds of a previous picture, so they think in terms of pictures. Right. They respond to words, so do autistic, but, but more likely, than, depending on the degree of it, they're in a world of pictures. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that can put you at a very big disadvantage for the rest of the world, because we think so much of verbal. Sure. Sure. Work and verbal yeah. stuff. But we have pictures. If you stop a moment and think about memories mm -hmm. from childhood, mm -hmm. think about a certain smell that shows sure. a good memory, you know. I remember fried onions, even though I don't like them. <laughs> the smell with butter. Uh -huh. Oh, this is just one of the best smells in the world. I remember that from a child. Well, Leah thinks it's weird, but I like the smell of gasoline, and I think it's I've because... I always have, too. I, well, you see, I'm not doing one. I always have something <laughs> well, I, about that. I, I, think, I, gas, I yeah. think it's when I was a little child, about five, six years old, my dad and I would go and fill up the, the car and the truck with gasoline. And uh, we did that just about every day, you know. And it was a good memory. Because it was a small town, there were three gas stations, and he, he was friends with all three owners. So we'd rotate, you see. Well, that was we, a good we were, uh, yeah, that was a good memory. That's why, why I remembered it's not it. It's clean, I guess, even though it's very toxic. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, so actually, today, see, and we're going to work on this next time, all we want him to do. <laughs> Make friends with the ball. <laughs> And, and no more than that. Okay. We're not going to do any more than that. It's okay. Right. I like the ball. A little pressure. A little pressure. <laughs> That's a release. Happening. He's actually right. touching it, and we're done. Okay. That's all we do for today. On that. Okay. Now, do you want to get a brush? We'll brush him down. Yeah. Let's do that. We'll brush him. He's watching that ball. But you see, that's all we do. Because it can scratch the skin. Oh. So summertime, you really got to be really mindful. But with this thick of a coat, yeah. oh, and yeah. you do it carefully, and do this the slider end, not the deeper one. See, there's two different degrees okay. of. Yeah. Just yeah. enough to loosen up the mud. Uh huh. That's where it works nice. And then it's good for cleaning brushes out. Because a lot of people, that's what they say, just use it for cleaning brushes. But I like it gently to clean off the mud and the goo. The mud and the goo. Nick will be happy because he's going to be here tomorrow to ride Sam. But his horse will be beautiful. And I All bet the other horses will be a muddy mess. I bet <laughs> Sam likes this too. Oh. He likes the feeling of it, doesn't he? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, if you do it right, I'm sure it feels really good because it's like a, you know, dark skin too. Bad. Sometimes it's nice. Sure. What's that?
I wanna breathe.